Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about turning your following into a business. I know a lot of you have been working hard to grow your following on social media, maybe Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, or somewhere else, but now I wanna talk about how to actually make money from that hard work. Today's video is brought to you by Milkshake, a fantastic free app that allows you to create a stunning, mobile-friendly website in just minutes. With Milkshake, you can create a free website just using your phone with no design or coding skills needed. And they're also really easy and fast to create and update. Milkshake is the perfect way to take your IG followers over to your paid offers or other platforms by using it as your link in bio, but you can also type it onto any other social media platform, really your portfolio, your resume, or your business card, which I think is a pretty cool idea. You can see how your content is doing with Milkshake's in-app analytics. And while the app is totally free, they've just introduced a subscription option to remove their branding from your website, making it feel uniquely yours and true to you. So thanks to Milkshake for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into the tips. So my first tip is you have to understand the marketing funnel. The marketing funnel is kind of the process that most of your customers or potential customers are going to go through before they actually go ahead and purchase. So it's like an upside down triangle. People start at the awareness stage, they move down to the consideration phase, and then finally into the conversion phase. Awareness means they found you, right? Some of you are probably in the awareness stage. If you just clicked on this video, you have no idea who I am. You're entering the awareness phase. You're getting to know who I am. Hey, by the way, I'm Latasha. Please subscribe, follow me on Instagram if you want to. For those of you that have been coming back regularly, you're subscribed, thank you, turn on the bell. You know, you are in the consideration phase. You're taking in the information that I'm sharing. You maybe have heard about one of my paid offers a couple of times. Maybe you've went to the website, thought about it, or maybe it's not right for you right now, but you still are building up that relationship with me. And when the time does come, hopefully I will at least be, you know, an option for you. And then some of you have already went through the conversion phase. Some of you are my current students, or you've taken a course, you know, back in the day or a few years ago or a few months ago, you have already went through the conversion phase. Now, the reason it's important to understand this funnel is because I can't say, hi, new person who just clicked on my video, buy something immediately. For a very small, small fragment of viewers, that will work, right? If it's the perfect timing, sometimes there's just those kind of serendipitous moments that just works out. The offer is amazing. Some people will do that, but like 99% of you will not. 99% of you are gonna be like, who is this girl? Why is she qualified to teach me? I need to get a feel for her teaching style and her educational style a little bit more before I buy a course. And that's, that's important to understand. So what you're doing by building up your following right now is good, but it's important to continue to nurture and not just go right into the sale, right? So take some time, make sure that you are getting to know your audience as best as you can, that you're you know, talking back and forth with them and really listening to their needs. I think this part is really important. With that said, you wanna figure out what you want to offer. So this, like I said, a lot of it is gonna come from listening to your audience and just checking out what they're saying in the comments, checking out what they're saying in your DMs, what they're asking you about a lot. Maybe kind of asking them who are some other people that they follow and that they enjoy their content. And this can give you some good information or a good place to start at least when you start thinking about how to, how to give a paid offer. There are so many different ways to monetize an audience and to serve them in the way that they need. I personally sell online courses and coaching programs, or if you wanted something a little bit lower touch, you could do something like an ebook, you could sell guided meditations, you could sell a, uh, what do you call those? Presets, something like that, some kind of a digital template pack, right? There's so many different things that you could choose to do. And of course you could offer a service. If you realize, oh my gosh, everybody's coming to my YouTube channel to learn video editing tips. Why don't I start offering to create videos for people or to create intros for people or something like that. So really pay attention to what your audience is saying, but also pay attention to what you wanna do. It's important before you start monetizing that you understand what you're looking for because a lot of you could probably make a very good income 
if you just started offering services, you know, if you, whatever, whatever it is that your expertise is in, if you just offered full service, but you have to understand that that takes a lot of time and that has a limitation to it, right? I can only take on a few one-on-one -on -one clients or full service agency clients per month because it takes a lot of time, right? But I can serve a whole lot more of my audience by offering a group program or a self-paced course. So it is important to think about how you want to serve and also how many people you feel might be interested in it. I love to use Instagram for market research. I just ask in my Instagram stories. If you follow me there, you probably have participated in many a polls and quizzes. And I just like to get a gauge for where everyone's at and like what people are enjoying. Do you guys like events? Do you guys like eBooks? Do you like courses? Do you like this? Do you like that? When do you want to take a course in the summer, the fall, the winter, you know, use those things to your advantage. You can use a YouTube community tab and so on and so forth. Next thing that is really, 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 really important. You want to build an email list. This is, this is important. <laughs> it's really important. And I'm really glad that Milkshake is sponsoring today's video because using a tool like that is a phenomenal way to build your email list. If you just send people from your Instagram to the link in your bio, and it is this free download, this free e ebook, and it's not gated, meaning there's no email, you know, separating them from getting that, you're just giving stuff away for free. You're not really getting any type of return on your investment. Sure, they're getting the value and some of those people will come back, but a lot of those people you're, you're never gonna hear from again. So if you use Milkshake to link over to your email platform, whatever platform you choose to use, you'll be able to say, hey, click the link of my bio to get this free ebook, this free download, this free video course, and they'll just have to enter in their email for it. And now you have this kind of more direct way to contact them. Because as we know, we don't own the social platforms. I don't own YouTube, I don't own Instagram. And so I'm just really hoping for the best every time I post on here. I'm hoping everything goes out okay. I'm hoping there's no big algorithm changes. I'm hoping you all log on that day. But the one thing that I think most of us do log on to every day is our email. That's like the first thing I do when I wake up is I check my email, right? It is a more direct line of communication to your audience. And I also think that people are a lot more used to being sold to in email than YouTube or Instagram. I think there's still very much this feeling that YouTube should be free. Instagram should be free. TikTok content should be free. And you know, creators, we can feel how we feel about it, but it, it is a free platform. There's a reason people are going to YouTube versus cable or TikTok versus the movies or whatever, right? Anyway, I think that it's a little bit easier to sell to people and to start building out that sales funnel on email versus through YouTube, hoping you all stop by my channel that day. The next thing that you're gonna wanna do is test your offer. So let's say that you decided you are a style consultant, you're a fashion consultant, you you uh, help people shop, personal shopper. I think those are technically five different jobs that I just railed off, but let's say you're a personal shopper and you want to create a self-paced course for people who are looking to improve their style. So let's say it's a shopping list. Let's say it's just a shopping list, a staple shopping list. Here are five pieces every person should invest in, a pair of black boots, a nice blazer, a good pair of jeans, you know, good undergarments, whatever. So you create that guide, you get a bunch of people who have been following you to download that so you have their email. So now what you should do is send out an email blast of a kind of mini version or a beta version of the long-term offer that you wanna provide. So we said it's gonna be a course. Maybe you choose to offer the first lesson at either a free rate or a very you know discounted rate to a small group of beta testers. This is an important part of the equation because a lot of times we can think we know what people want but we really don't. So having just five people say, hey, do you wanna try this out for 10 bucks? Or maybe it's free, whatever. Um, get people, ask them to take a survey afterwards and give you feedback before you start building out the rest of your course and pitching it at a rate that maybe isn't realistic for people. For pricing questions, I like to use this method. It's called the Van Westendorp method. I'm sorry if I'm 
not saying that word properly or that name properly, but basically it's, if you've ever taken a survey and it says, you know, at what rate would this price be too high for you to consider? At what rate would this look too cheap and look like the value isn't good? And that really allows kind of a free flowing method of communication. So your survey, people, your beta testers can kind of be free to really think from their heads and not be choosing from this pre-arranged set of prices. So anyway, that's what I would do. And then from there, you have your beta test. Now this beta test might look different for every service, right? Maybe you offer coaching, you're doing like a three month coaching program, a year long coaching program, whatever. And you decide to do one-off calls for your sort of beta test. That's what I did for a long time before I started doing ongoing coaching. I just did like one-off calls that were really, really affordable. And I really used that to get my coaching hours in and to hear from my clients and hear what they were coming to me about so I could build out a more robust program for them. So do that. And then once you do that, you get your data, keep doing research, do market research, doing a market analysis, then you're gonna want to just scale that program. So you've got your survey results, you know the pricing that people said that they would pay for it. You understand what their pain points are, what they're looking for in the course. Just start building it out. You also want to, you know, continue to use that as a content pillar. You know, continue to build that email list while you're building out your program, while you're building out your full book, while you're doing whatever it is that you're doing, you wanna continue driving people to that email list and maybe even offering some other freebies or other lead magnets to get people into that funnel. So that's how I've really been able to take my social following predominantly on YouTube, but also some on Instagram and get them over to an email list where I can then sell to them. I hope this video was helpful. And again, I wanna thank Milkshake, today's sponsor for partnering on this video. You can download the app for free. I will have a link down in the description box. It's a great platform to create that website for yourself so that you have somewhere for people to go. And even if you didn't wanna use it to build an email list, if you are currently working as a coach or a service provider or a course creator or whatever it is that you're doing, you need a place for people to go at the link in your bio that showcases all of those different great offers that you have. So this is a fantastic option for you. So thanks again for watching. I hope it was helpful. Thumbs up the video. If it was, comment down below and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.